This channel brings daily updates about the San Francisco 49ers. If I were you, I'd already hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, because there are incredible updates and you wouldn't want to miss them, right? Let's go, San Francisco 49ers, yeah! Throughout the entirety of the NFL offseason, the San Francisco 49ers have consistently been a focal point of numerous trade rumors. A significant portion of these speculations has revolved around their star wide receiver, Brandon Ayuk. As is widely known among NFL enthusiasts and insiders, the 49ers and Ayuk have been engaged in protracted negotiations aimed at securing a new long-term contract for the dynamic wide receiver. Unfortunately, these discussions have not progressed smoothly. At this juncture, it appears that the two parties remain significantly apart in their contract expectations, which has inevitably led to rapid speculation about the possibility of Ayuk being traded. Despite the pervasive trade rumors, both the 49ers and Ayak seem determined to reach an amicable agreement. Ayak has been instrumental in the 49ers' recent successes, and the organization would prefer to retain his services rather than consider a trade. His contributions to the team over the past few years have been substantial, and losing him would undoubtedly create a void that would be difficult to fill. According to ESPN NFL insider Jeremy Fowler, the negotiations between the 49ers and Ayuk have yet to reach a productive stage. Fowler reports that the stalemate remains very much intact, with significant gaps between the demands of Ayuk and the offers from the 49ers. This one's tricky because he was implicated in some trade talks around the draft. He wants a new contract, has one year left. I'm told the 49ers certainly are open to doing a deal, but talks have not progressed enough where things are close. And so, is he going to show up for their workouts? Hard to tell right now. The market is pretty set for him. A Monterey St. Brown in Detroit did that deal recently, about $28 million a year. So, that's something for Ayuk and the 49ers to work off of, but I'm told they're not quite there yet. Maintaining Ayuk would signify a major positive move for the San Francisco 49ers. In fact, retaining his talents should arguably be a higher priority than even keeping fellow star wide receiver Debo Samuel. Ayuk has distinguished himself as an elite wide receiver, particularly excelling due to his exceptional route running abilities. During the 2023 NFL season, Ayuk demonstrated his value to the team by catching 75 passes for a total of 1,342 yards and scoring 7 touchdowns. These impressive statistics underscore the significant impact he has had and can continue to have on the field. The ongoing situation between Ayuk and the 49ers remains one to watch closely. Both sides have expressed a strong desire to finalize a deal, and it is clear that the 49ers are motivated to keep their star wide out. Ayuk, for his part, has also indicated a willingness to remain with the team. Provided that negotiations do not take a negative turn and the discussions remain respectful, there is a strong likelihood that the two parties will eventually come to a mutually beneficial agreement. The San Francisco 49ers and Brandon Ayuk seem poised to continue their partnership, much to the relief of 49ers fans who have come to appreciate Ayuk's contributions on the field. Adding fuel to the fire, the recent spate of lucrative contract extensions inked by standout wide receivers across the league presents a formidable obstacle for the 49ers. With luminaries such as A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith, and Amonare St. Brown securing their financial futures, and with Justin Jefferson poised to follow suit, the benchmark for top-tier receiver salaries is poised to breach the $30 million threshold annually, further complicating matters for San Francisco. Hindsight offers a bitter pill to swallow. Had the 49ers adopted a more proactive stance earlier in the offseason, perhaps Ayuk would have been more amenable to committing to an extension. Yet, with each passing day, the financial demands escalate, with the current valuation for retaining Ayuk services soaring to a staggering $28 million per season. Should the 49ers balk at this exorbitant price tag, the specter of this potentially being Ayuk's swan song with the club looms ominously on the horizon. As the NFL universe eagerly turned its gaze towards the glimmering prospects of the upcoming season, the spotlight shone brightly on a cadre of fresh-faced rookies, among them, 
San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Ricky Pearsall. This past weekend marked a pivotal milestone for Pearsall as he graced the stage of the NFLPA's rookie premiere, adorned in the iconic uniform he will proudly sport throughout his inaugural campaign in the league. It was a momentous occasion, offering fans and enthusiasts alike a tantalizing glimpse into the future of football particularly for those who have closely followed Pearsall's journey since the 49ers selected him with the 31st overall pick just last month. Now, with the echoes of the promotional fanfare fading into memory, Pearsall's focus swiftly pivots towards the grueling trials that lie ahead. San Francisco is abuzz with anticipation as the 49ers gear up for their 2024 campaign fueled by the burning desire to redeem themselves after falling agonizingly short in the Super Bowl last season. The upcoming organized team activities, OTAs, serve as a crucial juncture in the team's preparations, providing an invaluable opportunity for Pearsall to showcase his mettle and solidify his standing within the roster hierarchy. Having already cut his teeth on the practice field during the rookie minicamp, Pearsall now finds himself poised to put his burgeoning knowledge of the 49ers' playbook to the test, eager to prove that he is not merely a spectator but a formidable contender for a prominent role in the offense, notwithstanding the formidable array of pass-catching talent ahead of him. While the stringent regulations of OTAs preclude live contact drills, the playbook acumen of rookies like Pearsall will undoubtedly be subjected to rigorous scrutiny amidst the backdrop of 7-on-7, 9-on-7, and 11-on-11 drills. His ability to forge a symbiotic rapport with 49ers quarterback extraordinaire, Brock Purdy, will be closely monitored, as the two seek to harmonize their movements and synchronize their timing in pursuit of gridiron glory. However, the unfolding narrative takes on an intriguing twist with the looming specter of Brandon Ayuk's contract negotiations casting a palpable shadow over the proceedings. As the linchpin of the 49ers' receiving core, Ayuk's potential absence from OTAs injects an element of uncertainty, potentially opening up avenues of opportunity for Pearsall to assert his presence on the field and expedite his developmental curve. Yet, amidst the flux and flux ion, one thing remains abundantly clear— the honeymoon phase for Pearsall and his fellow rookies has reached its denouement. The arduous toil of training camp beckons on the horizon, promising a crucible of trials and tribulations that will ultimately separate the pretenders from the contenders. For Pearsall, the onus lies squarely on his shoulders to seize the moment and leave an indelible impression, particularly in the absence of Ayuk, as he vies for a coveted spot in the 49ers' offensive rotation. Now it's your time to interact with us, leave in the comments what you thought of the video, and, as usual, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell.